In this video, I'm going to be discussing calories versus macros and which one is better for weight loss. Welcome back. I'm Tammy from Fit Healthy Mama, where we help you live a fit, healthy life. All right, today's topic is calories versus macros and which one is better for weight loss. Now, this question comes up all the time. Um, especially for those who are new to calorie tracking or macro counting, it can be very confusing to know which one is going to be the best course of action to take when trying to lose weight in particular. So here's the deal. Macros are made up of calories. So even if you're not counting macros, you're consuming macros. There are four grams of protein, or excuse me, there are four calories per one gram of protein. There are also four calories per one gram of carbohydrates, and there are nine calories per one gram of fat. So macros are, calories and macros go hand in hand. So whether, whatever you're tracking, it's all there. Here's the difference. Macros take calories just to a more in-depth level. If you think of um, calories as kind of like the broader term, um, and counting calories and being in a calorie deficit will 100% help you lose weight. If you want to get a little more granular and you have body composition goals and you have a specific way that you want to look and the way that you want to feel, tracking your macros are going to take that precision to the next level. So I like to think about it this way. If you have two people, both of whom are in a calorie deficit, they're both eating around 1800 calories, person A is just eating 1800 calories and they're not really paying attention to the foods that they're eating. So they're filling their day, their calories with uh, takeout food, um, candy, ice cream, sodas, things like that. They're still eating 1800 calories. And if that is below their maintenance calories, they're going to lose weight by law because if you're in a calorie deficit or an energy deficit, you're gonna lose weight. Now, person B is also eating 1800 calories, but this person is prioritizing their protein and hitting their protein macro goal every day. And they are focusing on hitting their other macros and filling those with nutritional, high quality, nutrient dense foods. Now, person A and person B are likely going to have very different body composition. Person B, especially when combined with strength training, is going to have a higher muscle mass they're gonna be able to build and maintain their lean muscle, so their body is going to look different than person A, who, while they are losing weight, they're just becoming a smaller version of the current body that they have. That is totally fine if that's your goal. However, if you're looking to get leaner, more toned, you're going to wanna to count macros as that's going to help you design that body that you're looking for. It's your adherence and your uh, attention to detail when it comes to hitting these specific macros. They're gonna help you achieve those body goals that you want. So really, when it comes to calories versus macros, the biggest difference is calories will ultimately determine your weight. So whether you're losing weight, gaining weight, or maintaining your weight is all dictated by your overall calorie consumption. If you have specific body composition goals, and, and you care about the way that you wanna feel and how your body is being fueled, taking that next step in counting or tracking your macros is going to help you get to those goals so much more efficiently. So that is all I have to say on that topic. If you want to learn more, I wrote a complete blog post where I go into even more detail. So go ahead and click in the description box to take you over to check out that full written blog post. If you have any questions, let me know.